Hey guys, I'm back for another video. I did read through the comments and someone said, and I'm sorry I forget names, I'm not good at names, to take that painting down so that the star on the top of the tree would actually not blend in with the painting on the background. Chase was saying the same thing and so I went to go take that painting down and I forgot that I like command strip that thing to the wall. It is so stuck on that wall that I'm afraid to remove it because I'm afraid to remove the paint off of the wall. So it's not up there with an L, it's like command stripped up there. Um, yeah, so I cannot move it. I don't want to damage the wall at all, so it's got to stay up there, but I do agree, it kind of blends in. At night, the star does stand out with all of the lights on the tree, but, but totally get it. It does blend in with the black on black. Anyway, I am here today to show you guys the one, I would consider the one important thing I got my kids for Christmas this year. You know, you get them the shoes. Now my kids are teenagers, well, preteen and teenager. So you get the shoes, you get the hoodies and all. But this really meant a lot to me to make and get for my kids. I never did this in previous years. This is the first year I'm doing this. I've done this in general, but not as gift for my children, just kind of as household things. So anyway, I think it's a great idea. I want to share it with you guys if you guys have older children too and you're kind of struggling on what to get them. These are Shutterfly books. They are photo albums of my kids when they were babies up until like toddlers. I did have a Facebook a long time ago and then I deactivated it. I reactivated it to get these pictures off of there because that's the only place these pictures are. We don't have them printed out anywhere else. I made a photo album and then I deactivated Facebook again. Um, I was very quickly reminded about all of the problems on there. So I deactivated it again. But I did get the pictures off so that my kids would have these pictures for a lifetime. This is not an ad for Shutterfly. I have used Shutterfly before. I have a ton of Shutterfly books. Um, but never ones of my kids when they were babies. So this was pretty cool to put together for them. I'm just opening this now. I have not seen either one. I did use their, um, decorator thing where you like give the pictures and a decorator makes your book for you. That was free on there. I did use that for both of these books. And I noticed that I got two different sizes somehow. Yeah, somehow I got two different size books. I did have a lot more baby pictures of my son than my daughter, but I think that's because he was premature and so like every little milestone was like a huge thing. And with my daughter, she was my first. We do have more printed out pictures of her, not so much online, um, like photo albums, actual photo albums of her. But online, I have more pictures of my son. So this is the first time I'm getting to see this. This is Bella's book. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to give this to her. I think she's going to love it. And I am going to take it out of the plastic packaging because I do want to look it over before I give it to her, make sure everything is good to go. Shutterfly is a little expensive, and so I always do look out for deals. I got to deal with both of these books because of how expensive they can be. Oh, I'm going to hold the background. Bella, when she was around one year old, one years old, she had a photo shoot, a model photo shoot thing. We never took it farther than that. It was just not our thing. After we did the photo shoot, we realized that it's just not, it's not our thing. So we never took it, so we never took it farther than that, but she did get the photo shoot and um, we do own the pictures to that. So I definitely put them in here. Let me see if I can find a few more from that. There you go, a few more from that. So she has a lot of pictures. And like, it was a lot of pictures like this, where it was kind of the same picture, but she was making different faces. But how can you choose just like one of those to put in a book? So I, I really put like every picture in here. And I'm sure she will look through this and think how crazy some of these pictures actually look. Oh my goodness. It's her dressed up as Robin. I think she's going to love this. But either way, these were pictures that were like on Facebook that my kids would not have seen any other way. And so now they have it and they have these photo albums for the rest of their lives they could take with them. Each one is just for them. That was something I was struggling with too. I was making these photo albums for a family. And then I was like, when time comes, whatever, whenever you want, however you want to say it, 
what kid is going to take what photo album because both kids are in all the photo albums I keep making. So I just want to make one like personalized just for each kid. This is Logan's. Let's open it. My kids get so excited when they see a Shutterfly box on the counter. And they did see these boxes on the counter and they were like, what is that? And I was like, oh, it's not a book. Don't worry about it. And they let it be. Obviously, they forget about it after that. But they get so excited when we get the books like this in the mail. Yeah, see, they always come with, like, coupons and stuff, and I always get coupons on my email, so that's when I buy them. I need to make another one, actually, because I have pictures from Halloween and before Halloween and all that stuff that I need to get off of my phone. Yeah, you get, like, I don't know if anybody wants a HelloFresh thing. I don't, I don't do HelloFresh. Yeah, so you always get, like, coupons and all. So if you want to do Shutterfly, sign up for your email, wait for an email, because I'm sure with Christmas time coming up, they're going to constantly be rolling out deals. Oh, here goes Logan's. So Logan's is bigger than Bella's. I don't know how I did that. I'm not that upset about it. Like I said, I don't think the kids are going to care either. I think they're going to be blown away by some of these pictures, though, because I don't think they've seen these pictures. I deactivated my Facebook years and years and years ago, probably almost. 10 years ago, I deactivated it. So they haven't seen these pictures in a long, long time. And it has Logan's name written on the side and then a picture of Logan and Bella on the back. That was something that I put into each of my kids' books. I put pictures of themselves and then I put a few of themselves and their sibling so that they would have that in there. Logan's pictures are a little bit more... They're a little tougher to view, in my opinion, because he was a preemie, but I felt like they were important to put in his books because that was his history, you know what I mean? So there is a few pictures in here that I won't show you guys because it's probably not YouTube friendly. I know most of the people, or if not all of the people who watch my videos are moms, so I know that you guys wouldn't be like skeeved out or anything by that, but I know YouTube would be like, no, not today. So I'm not going to show you guys those ones, but that is one when he was in the NICU, a nicer one. But yeah, I felt like that was important to put in, in here for Logan so that he had that um, to see how far he's come. He has come pretty far from being born. And in the same sense, if you guys have seen him, I think it was in my birthday video. I feel like he, he hasn't changed much. I feel like he still looks... The exact same way as he did when he was born. I mean, right here, he had more of like a, a oval head and then it started to round out. But I feel like he still looks the exact same way he did when he was born. So these are going to be my kids' big Christmas gifts. Um, the meaningful ones. Last year, I got Logan a snow globe from New York. I forget what store it was from, but it was a really nice snow globe from New York because he absolutely loves New York. If he could live in New York, he'd live in New York. He loves it. So that was his meaningful gift last year. Um, and I think this year, this is going to be a huge hit. And I made sure to put pictures of like me and Chase in here with them when they were really little. I'm trying to find another one I could show you guys. I gotta cover this one up because... Logan didn't, Logan didn't like wearing shirts as a baby, but there goes me and Logan when he was a baby. Oh, Chase is there too. He's right next to him. Try to find a better picture of Chase with him. He was so small. Look at that. Look at that face. He was always smiling too. Like he had acid reflux and all, but he was always smiling. And I think that's also why I have just so many pictures of Logan, he just smiling, he's smiling in all of his pictures. Just well, besides that one, he's not smiling that one. But look at that face, he smiles in all of them. So if you have, oh, here goes one of Bella and Logan. So if you have an older kid, or you even have, I would say anywhere from teen to adult, I wouldn't hand this to my child, my nine year old, and hope that you know they would not mess it up. But um, if you have an older child or an adult and you're like, I don't know what to get them. Think about it, because it's, it's something they can always have and always cherish. And I know my kids are going to go crazy when they see these photo albums. It's crazy to look back at them and see how young they were. All right, before we get like too emotional with these books, I'm gonna go for now, but I hope it gave you guys an idea. I hope that you guys have a good morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye guys.